of all green grass is going to be burned up during this great tribulation. One third of all the sea will become blood in Revelations 8 and 8. Revelations 8 and 8 again. One third of all sea creatures will die. And one third of all the ships will be destroyed. What a terrible time. Can you imagine for just a moment in your, in your sanctified imagine just the horror of such a thing? The death and the destruction and the disease and all the just, this, this, you know, we, they lost a fourth of the, of the earth's population. Hallelujah. The worst part of the whole thing is this. In Revelations 9 and 20, Revelation 16 and 9 and Revelation 16 and 11. Listen, this spirit is present in our day. The Bible says that seeing all of these things, they still refuse to repent. They still refuse after all of this stuff that goes on, that's going on, all of this death, all of this destruction, all of this disease, they still refuse, brother, to repent. Doesn't that speak of the day and the time in which we're living? After 9-11, you'd have thought that revival would have swept this land. But it, but it lasted for maybe a two-week to two-month period. People began to come to church. And then they got comfortable again. And they went right on out there in the world and just began to do the things that they were doing. Still remaining in their lackadaisicalness. Remaining in their lukewarmness. But my Lord, my God. And and, the, and our, our leaders stood up and declared how, how we're going to show the world how much stronger we are. We're going to rebuild. We're going to restore. Instead of repenting and saying, God, help us. Show us the error of our ways. Show us what's going on. Show us what we have done. And take